Welcome, Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Jesus. Wake up and smell the coffee. Welcome back to Let's Play Stalker Clear Sky. God, everyone, just calm down. In the last episode... Uh, actually, sorry. This will be part 13 of our Let's Play. And why are you guys under attack from bandits so much? I... Helps if the gun's reloaded, just by the way. Ooh, I've been hit. Come on, come on. Oh, that's a grenade. Jesus, that was close. One down. Where's he? Oh, he's over there. I'll just change it to semi-automatic. Dude, stop by our base and we'll show you our gratitude. <laughs> Says the guy bleeding out on the ground. Alright, now that that craziness is over. Quiet, let's wait a little longer. Okay. In the last episode, we went on a bit of a stash hunt. We uh, we didn't accomplish that much, but we did, you know, run around. Wow, there's all so many bandits around. What's with that? I mean, I guess the depot's been recaptured, so they're kind of spawning in there. It might be time to go back to the Freedom Base. Um, yeah, so we did some stash, you know, grabbing, just to try and gear up a little bit. We upgraded our uh, assault rifle. And one of you beautiful commenters told me that shotguns ain't worth shit. So, they can just go. And, uh, yeah, now we're being roped into defences. Ooh, okay. Well, that can go, but this and that I will hold on to. But yeah, I'm really tempted. And I'm thinking that maybe, maybe it's time. Maybe it's time to head back to the Freedom Base. And, and get that started. How much money do we have? 7,000 rubles. That's a lot of rubles. That's a lot, a lot of rubles. Um, okay, so I'm pretty busy today, so I haven't had a massive chance to like, eat or anything, so if you hear me eating like I'm about to... Mm. Quiet, let's wait a little longer. I have... Uh, it's a hot as balls time. day. And I have some very cold watermelon, and it's goddamn delicious, so... Please forgive me. If you, uh, if you hear me chewing, or with my mouth full. But, uh, yeah, busy day. Busy, busy day. Have to sort of make do with the time that I've got. Anyway, enough, uh... Enough shit talk about, oh, woe is me, my life's so busy. Nice. Easter eggs? What? Okay, take that, take that. Right, and the other important upgrade we managed to get is we managed to upgrade our uh, TRS-301 with an underbarrel grenade launcher. Which kind of fucks it in terms of... In terms of accuracy, because I can't get all the accuracy upgrades for it, which I'm disappointed in, but not, you know, it's not terribly bad. But it does give us access to the grenade launcher, and grenade launchers in this game are pretty good. Well, in this series. I don't know about this game in particular. But I know that as a series, grenade launchers are pretty strong. I'm getting irradiated pretty badly. But there is allegedly, yeah, a body up here. Ugh. Ugh. That was close. And it had nothing in it, of course not. Eh. Come on, let me, let me just, okay. I'm gonna have to play with that again. Why would anyone stand up there? And why are there so many dead bodies over here? 
If you got something to say, say it. Why are there so many dead stalkers over here? Like dead stalkers and nothing I'm else. All Ooh, you are a tough guy. I like you. These two are spooning in death. Yeah, each their own. I ain't gonna judge. Um, do we head to Yantar first? Uh, we are just here, so maybe maybe we will. Let's go to Yantar first. We'll worry about freedoms. Uh, assault on duty afterwards. TRS-301. But it did have 60 AP rounds, so that's pretty worth it. Why are there so many of you people over here? I don't understand why there's so many stalkers here. Uh, okay, norths. Gotta go north. So let's go this way. We're getting squeezed by bandits! Help us out, man, please! No. Nah. Look, I can't be all over the place. I can't help you all the time. You have to learn to deal with your own problems sometimes. God. Ah, also have a couple of strawberries too. Summer is the best. At least for fruit. The temperature can, can go straight to hell where it came from, but... the fruit, man. Now we're getting into the Aussie nerds uh, food talk. I love food. I love food so much. Thankfully, I have one of those fabled massively high metabolisms, so I can eat all sorts of shit without actually getting fat. It's incredible. Hey, what am I doing here? What am I helping you from? You got something to say? Say it. <clears throat> all right, guys. All right. Where's the fire? We got some zombies doing. All right. God. How tough is your adamantium skull? Wolverine? I didn't know you were here. Nice, I'll take that. <laughs> Wolverine, I didn't know you were in the Ukraine. Nah. Seems pretty over to me. All right, people, that's enough. God, how did you guys lose so many comrades to just crappy bloody zombies? Hey, I'm not complaining. More bodies for me to loot, but you know, sucks to be you, I guess. Oh, that works so much better than the later ones. Well, later ones. Than, uh... Shadow of Chernobyl and... Uh, Call of Chernobyl. How are you, young man? Well, well. I seldom see a new face here. So, what would you like to know? Uh, we won't jump straight to the top one first. So, uh, do zombies attack you often? They have been giving us problems from the day this laboratory was set up. The walls are strong, but the howling and other racket from the outside is awfully disruptive. As you can imagine, carrying out research or even sleeping under these conditions is no easy task. On top of that, sometimes we have to leave the bunker to collect samples. If that is so, I wonder where zombies come from. 
We spent a long time considering this issue. Regardless of how much effort the military expended on clearing out the facility, zombies would always come back. It all became clear when a former assistant of mine, who went missing while taking measurements by the factory, was discovered among the zombies. It's the Psy Field. Everyone who is affected by it loses his mind and turns into a zombie. This happens as a result of irreversible damage to the higher functioning of the human brain. Ergo, these creatures cease being human. They have no cognitive abilities, and so their behavior is the result of whatever remains of their purely animal instincts. Okay, so that was a good, a good uh, bit of lore background and explanation, but can we go back here and appreciate this sentence right here? And just how... How Russian that sounds. If that is so, I wonder where zombies come from. I do not know. That's so good. Um, what do stalkers do here? It's the deserted factory. It draws stalkers like a magnet because it is one of the few buildings they haven't reached yet. They say very rare artifacts and valuable equipment can be found inside. So stalkers keep trying to get in, hoping to strike gold. The trouble is... That it's like playing Russian roulette. The Psy field is extremely unstable. When it peaks, the emissions can melt a human brain in seconds. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. I know that Strelok was here. What do you know about him? Yes, he visited us. He knew a great deal, far more than others. <laughs> he even claimed to have been to the center of the zone. Naturally, I didn't really believe him, even though he showed me some photographs. Where is Threlock now? We made a deal with him. He promised to conduct field testing on one of our promising experimental models, a Psi emission blocker. And we promised to give him the final version in return. Strelok believed that the blocker would help him get through the brain scorcher. We gave him the prototype, and he went into the factory. That was the last we saw of Strelok and the prototype. We received some data via our satellite, but the signal has been lost. It looks like Strelok was hit by a powerful emission at the factory. So when is this set? Because this is really confusing. I... Okay, we'll talk about this in a minute. How do I find Strelok? If Strelok is in the factory, getting inside without a Psi protection device is virtually impossible. We have been studying the Psi emissions originating from the factory for years. They have a pronounced pulse nature. When they are in their low phase, people go into the factory relatively safely. However, we are unable to predict when the next emission will take place, so going inside is like playing Russian roulette. If you decide to follow Strelok into the factory, you will most likely end up with your brains melted like most of the zombies around here. There is something which I may be able to do for you, however. Some time ago, I was contacted by a group of stalkers who managed to come out of the factory alive. They came across a technical documentation archive in one of the buildings. Those documents could shed light on what the factory contains and help us uncover the source of such powerful psi emissions. Help me find those documents, and I'll help you get inside the factory. So... As I was saying, like, when is this set? Because that sounds like halfway through the first one. Like, you know, he went into the factory with the the psi protection. But surely then they would know who he was, like when he arrived as the marked one. They would know who he was. I'm very confused. Like, as far as I know, this is set before the first one. Like, the end of this one ties into the start of the first one. Interesting. I agree to obtain the documents. Tell me everything you know. The group went missing in the northwestern part of the facility. That area is full of zombies. I cannot send any stalkers who are guarding the perimeter, seeing as we're barely holding out against the attacks as it is. 
The SOS signal coming from there is still active. So please, try to get the stalkers out if they're still alive. Okay, and we will do that, but uh, what can you offer? Nothing interesting. Best wishes. Any luck? Uh, what do you have to trade? You have a Veles detector, which would be good if we didn't already have one. Uh, you can have these. Because what do they do again? Just Psy protection? I mean, a smart man would probably bring one with us, but we'll be fine. Let's just grab all of these. We know we're going to need them. Uh, we are running kind of short on those. Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I like that. Uh, bullets, we're pretty set. Oh, we can sell these. Oh, thank God. They're so heavy. Yeah, they're 1.3 kilos each. That's a lot. Uh, yeah, let's do that. Rolling in the rubles. Alright. So where are we going here? Okay, so we need to go left and up that way. Uh, yeah. I mean, yeah, we can manage that. Let's go out and save these goobers. Guys, you know they can't really aim, right? So when you're clustered together like that, it just makes it really easy for them to hit you. Maybe it's like, all really easy. <clears throat> I'll take more of those. Ooh, another bandage. A bit of sausage. Nice. Uh, you're gonna have some of the good stuff. Yep. What about you? Yeah, you'll have some as well. You'll use AP rounds, which is kind of weird. Well, at the very least, you'll have AP rounds. I don't know if the NPCs actually, like, strictly use different types of bullets. Doo -doo -doo. That one suspicious tree stump. Nice! Scientist first aid kit. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. So we're going across the swamp. Well, we're not going to go across the swamp. You know, don't be stupid. We're going to go around the swamp. Yeah, partially because... It's full of anomalies, and partially because it's full of zombies. So, both of those are crap, and no thanks. Now, I really want to get up on this ridge here, so I can see what's on the other side. <laughs> I mean, we have a stalker aid, right? Stalker energy drink? No, we use the last one. Bomber. Actually, how many anti ras do we have? We have six. We could probably dump these. Drop all. Oh, yeah, right. They, like, smash, but don't smash. I was like, God, they're just smash six bottles. Yeah, so that's a Psy anomaly over here that I'm walking straight into. Ugh. Okay, this isn't actually hurting us yet. Down boy. Sorry, dumb boy. Okay, so what else we got here? There's artifact in there, a fiery one. Oh, got him in midair. Why do I get that itching feeling in my scalp that says we're gonna get like wrecked by a blowout as soon as I grab this? That's fire. No? Ah, there's the fire. 
Yeah, so it's up high. How would I get up there? Okay, I think I can... I think I can manage this. Can I just go up here? Yeah, I thought there was one there. Eh. Eh. Yeah, there it is. Ah ha ha ha! Ah ha ha ha! Give... Ha. Ah. Yeah, you think you're so smart putting it up high. I was born yesterday, I know how this works. I've played a stalker game before. I've actually played two before now. It's gonna be so weird getting back into Call of Pripyat and sort of seeing where it came from. It's so weird indeed. Ah, uh, there's the PDA. Okay. I'm just gonna check all your bodies for stuff first. Okay, yeah, that. That over there, that is the badness. Eh. Yeah, it's just a sigh feel, it's not going to tell me anything. Actually, I'm being side up right now, so let's not linger. Alright, grab this. Ah, my head! My head is killing me! I can't think straight. I even uh, attacked us all of a sudden. Ah, the voices in my head. The damn sigh emission! Uh, at least we managed to get the documents. Goodbye. Uh, whatever. Okay, he's having a bit of a ground party though. That was the perfect range for our AK. Oh my god. I just looked at the map and realized that zombies spawned behind us, like, everywhere. That's fine. You just sit there and have one of these. Okay, that didn't go quite as far as I hoped. Wow, we're getting shredded. Okay, maybe I'll actually... Ow. Stop that. Wow, he, uh, punched through my armor pretty comfortably there, because I'm bleeding like a stuck pig. Okay. <sighs> yeah, he just hurt us a lot. That was my own fault. I shouldn't have tried for the bloody grenade launcher. Although I must say, the range on this is pretty abysmal compared to later games. That's okay. But also, it's probably not really the most effective thing to use against uh, zombies, really, because you kind of need headshots, and funnily enough, grenade launchers aren't good for securing headshots. Unless you're like, really good at it. Can I actually see them? Yes, I can. Now, I know from this range I'm probably not going to get a lot of headshots, but I might be able to... Yeah, I might be able to down them like that, and then I can kill them with one shot. Also, bleeding again? I like how a lot of these shots go pretty on target, and then every now and again you see this one that just goes woo off to the side, miles away from where I'm aiming. <laughs> oh. Ooh, yep, that, uh, that tickled a bit. I mean, yeah, I failed helping the scientist camp, but I can't help them all the bloody time. Can't be here forever. Yeah, I'm gonna get behind cover before I tussle with you idiots. Is that zombie jogging? Zombies don't jog. Bloody excuse me. Get 
These are like, quotes, fresh zombies, not quite as dumb as the other ones. Kinda wish that had stopped happening too, just uh... Just by the way. There we go, dropped him. Oh, that's a zombie right there. Okay. I'm gonna have to bandage myself. I really didn't want to. Oof. There's a lot of zombies around here. I don't know where the other one is, but I might want to get to here. Okay. I'll take all that. I think we've mostly rinsed them. Ah, uh, see, they're all using those... I forget what they're called. Those crappy bullpup guns. Oh wow, you nearly killed me with that. You must have hit me right in the face. Uh, bleeding. That's... pretty good. Quite frankly, that's pretty helpful. How messed up is our armor? Barely any. To be honest. Okay, I'm not gonna... I hear movement. Oh, it's just you guys coming to shore up the defences. I don't know why you even bother. You guys are terrible at your jobs. I came here for 10 seconds. I'm already doing way better at it than you guys. Like, look at all the bodies just littered everywhere. They're just a couple of zombies. Jesus, shoot him in the face. Useless, they are. Target scientist camp? Oh, defending, I presume. Not, not coming here to shoot it up, because they don't need help with that. There's plenty of, plenty of zombies and stuff that are coming to shoot up the scientist camp, don't you worry. I'm sure this looting is, like, so exciting for you guys, but, you know, I want bullets. And I want stash coordinates, actually. Look at them all. Look at all these stashes we can hit. Okay. Let's go and talk to you. I did what you wanted. Your entire base has just been wrecked. But, to what? still. Any luck? Stalker has turned out dead. I brought the documents. It's a shame about those young men. I truly hope their sacrifice was not in vain. Let's look at the documents. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. Some of my suspicions are proving accurate. No, this, this is positively interesting. Excellent. This provides answers to a multitude of questions. But we will need time to fully understand what is happening. Professor, can you be more specific? In this instance, it would appear that we are dealing with a man-made device. These documents are a manual for the cooling system of that device, which is located in the underground part of the facility. <laughs> its power consumption is quite astounding. So, the picture is becoming clearer. It seems that these bursts of psi activity occur as a result of failure in the device's cooling system. If we could repair it, that would significantly reduce psi emission levels. I will need some time to consider this matter. So please proceed towards the facility and join Lefty and his group of stalkers. I should have more information for you while you're making your way there. Do you hear anything? Okay. Dearest Lefty, I have some new data. It appears lefty? that we should be able to stabilize the psi emissions. Weird. A young man is on his way, so please wait for him and further instructions. 
Yes, Professor. Awaiting your instructions. Please go to Lefty. Please, come back sometime. Yeah, let me see your gear. Wow, you have a lot of those bullets. Uh, how much are these worth, just interestingly? Oh, nine grand. It's actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, okay, I don't need that. I, uh... We have a lot of AP rounds for that. Kind of tempted to just dump the regulars. Because we, uh, I suppose we can't really get much money for it. Better off just shooting it. Uh, you can have some grenades, though. We don't need eight. Christ. Um, I've actually got a lot of bandages and stuff. He's not selling any more bandages anyway. So that will be fine. We've only got 99 rubles out of it, so... Kind of sucks, but anyway. Okay, so we have to go up that way. Lefty, according to my data, the Psy emissions are generated by an unidentified device located under the factory. The Psy field is unstable because of a malfunction in that device's cooling station. Your objective is to restart the cooling system. I have sent all the information you require to your PTA. The diagram indicates two valves used to initiate the restart. You must activate both valves. Get in position, and I'll inform you when Psy emissions fall to a safe level. Professor, we are ready to start on your signal. Alright, but first, I'm going to find the stash. Which looks to be inside that thing. How... Pray tell... Do I... Oh, just like that. Oh yeah, there it is. I see it. Yoink. Eh. Eh. There we go. But uh, we're going to have to begin Operation Fix the Cooling System of the Giant Brain Murder Ray. Catchy name, I know. Uh, we're going to have to begin that in the next episode. So thank you very much everyone for watching. If you like this video, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more content from me, the Aussie Nerd, make sure you subscribe to my channel. If you think any friends want to join my content, make sure you share a video or two. I really appreciate it. And finally, if you want to leave any hints, tips, tricks, um, feedback, or you just want to say hi, make sure you do it in the comment section down below so that I can see it. And I will see all of you guys in the next episode. Goodbye.